so hello and welcome student uh, to today's class so this is our course ma425 topology okay and this is lecture number 12 Yeah, now recall that in our last class we have learned about um, uh, two matrices uh, on Rn. Okay, so what are those matrices? One was that uh, usual equilibrium matrix. Okay, U Euclidean matrix, uh, and was defined by n tuples. Uh, xi minus yi I whole square i equal to say 1 to n and then all to the power half right so this was the, the equilibrium matrix and uh, another one was square matrix so mm, rho xy was defined by uh, this maximum over uh, maximum over this mod of xi minus y right i equal to 1 to n right and then we, we showed that these two matrices define the same topology on rn and that is nothing but the product topology on rn right now we know that uh, when uh, i mean for the fine personal space product topologies with the match with the box topology the way we define box topology right but for infinite dimensional space this for a topology and box topologies are not same right now just recall again so um this uh, so let me define these symbols r w some people also use these symbols r in so this that means that this is actually uh, this countable infinitely many Cartesian product of the real numbers, okay. That, 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 that. So, this is countable infinite product of real numbers. I mean, people use both symbols, whatever you like, you can use. So, um, um, so on, on this space, we already learned two topologies uh, one is that product topology, right? Another one is that uh, box topology, and these two are not same because. Uh, in product topologies, the basis elements, uh, so, so given any basis element, uh, so for example, so let me write down of this form, this is Cartesian product of u alpha, alpha belongs to say natural number, uh, whatever, yeah, natural number, let me write down here, because I am using these symbols, okay, and um, in fact, uh, you, instead of n, if you have any arbitrary set, you can have the same thing, okay? Uh, then, so if this is the basis element in uh, product topology, then what happened then? Topology. Then we know that uh, u alpha equal to r, except for all alpha except a finite uh, subset of of n right so that means what that means um, uh, u alpha cannot be a proper subset of r for infinitely many places so it's kind of is you can think that uh, this element the is uh, this basis b will be of the form kind of say uh, one two so for example this is basis uh, at say three by two okay one two uh, three by two three by two something like that one three and then r r is maximum finally places it will be a proper soft space otherwise everything is the full soft space right but inside box topology this is not the case right in the box topology uh, u alpha can be equal to four for all alpha right and obviously uh, this product topology is uh, has less open sets right 
all those open already open sets are uh, box topology so in box topology will happen in this u alpha if the open in r it can be anything it can be proper substrate or whole substrate anything right and you already know that uh, this box topology topology uh, is bigger than this product topology like finer than whatever okay product topology logic is strictly finer in this rn this oh, whatever you can write down rw doesn't matter okay uh, okay so uh, so the question is that now the way we defined here equilibrium matrix and uh, this um, square matrix can you do it for infinite dimensional spaces like this kind of spaces okay for infinite Cartesian product uh, so let us try to understand first what happened so for example if I have a sequence uh, of numbers say x alpha and alpha okay so so in general I just define something like that R j j can be counted infinite or uh, oh, maybe let me just define alpha uh, lambda lambda was the symbol I was using right R lambda so R lambda is uh, uh, this lambda is index set okay lambda is uh, is an index set it can be counter infinite it can be uncountable anything okay okay so so suppose you choose a sequence uh, in r lambda uh, elements of r will be of this come of this form sequence right kind of uh, sequence in this and uh, and obviously i need one more to define a metric uh, say for example mm, okay so uh, uh, why alpha and also lambda uh, so 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 obviously uh, uh, okay so so okay before that let me just uh, define it for rn then it will be easier so for for example if rn if i am to define the matrix uh, of this form some is on just generalization of this matrix the first one the equal matrix then what happened then uh, suppose xi minus y i whole square and then i equal to 1 to infinity and hold to the power half the question is that can can I define the metric by this? Yes. And the answer is it's not it's not possible always because we don't know whether this infinite series converges or not, right? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, in R n this infinite series does not converge, and uh, why it converges? That will be a proper subset of R n this R w, uh, which is called a L two space. Maybe you will learn in functional analysis. Okay, so now um. Now again, you can you can ask uh, similar to the other matrix. So they, there was this square, square matrix, this one, square matrix. So in terms of square matrix, if I instead of maximum, if I choose a supremum, right, for infinitely many elements, uh, because it's a real number, right? Uh, can I do it? The answer is um, again uh, no, actually. Okay. Um, because this I don't know the supremum can exist or not so this way if I just define like by like this supremum of uh, mod of xi minus y I, then also I, I don't know that this is possible or not the supremum may not exist right so um, so what do we do so uh, so this, this matrix does not make sense so for that uh, uh, I need something else which will make sense here. Yeah? So now let me define it for in general um, R lambda where lambda is index set. It can be natural number and can be any arbitrary index set of uncontrolled numbers also. Okay. And then let me define uh, my new uh, matrix. So new functions from say R lambda to R lambda. I learned to 
say r plus zero and uh, this definition of this you choose these two sequences elements of r lambda of the form the sequences and then you define it supremum over uh, instead of uh, that so let me define whatever the matrix are there in r you choose that that equilibrium matrix x alpha y alpha and then take that uh, standard bounded matrix okay so what does that mean that means alpha belongs to lambda that means i am making it uh, such a way so the supremum exists either d alpha uh, alpha lambda is bounded less than one then i will choose d bar is d if it is bigger than one then i will choose d bar equal to one okay so what does that mean that means this is a sequence of real numbers bounded by one and hence the supremum exists okay and this supremum i am defining by row of row bar of x alpha okay now you take that this row bar satisfy all the properties of a matrix matrix so this will define a metric on r lambda okay and this matrix is called this metric is called the uniform metric okay uniform metric on r lambda okay this this is called uniform metric on r lambda and obviously the moment you have a metric then you can define a topology why because in the matrix from the metric you can define the open balls and the moment you know the open balls they will form the basis of a metric right of, of a topology and that is called the uh, uniform topology so uh, the topology topology induces from uh, this rover is called the uniform topology on r lambda now uh, uh, so now it's natural to ask uh, uh, whether this topology equal to any of the earlier topologies which already you learn in r lambda right in r lambda you have product topologies and box topologies you know already right because product topologies uh, are those topologies which open sets the basic open sets are what they are uh, this um, uh, you have only finally many proper sub, sub open sets and other are on the full space R. And in box topology, it can be anything. But inside this uniform topology, what is going to happen? This is the question. Okay. And the answer is that this is a new topology. This is neither uh, the product topology nor the box topology. In fact, it has a relation, and you can write down by this that product topology. So, uh, so this is on R in R W. I'm talking about R lambda, whatever. The product topology on this R lambda or R W, whatever you choose, doesn't matter. You choose something which is infinite. Uh, lambda is infinite. Okay. This is actually sitting inside. Uh, this is closer uh, than this uniform topology which we just find out uniform uh, topology on R lambda and in fact uniform topology is also closer than uh, this box topology so box topology is the largest collection actually okay box topology topology on r lambda so what does that mean that means box topology is finite than uniform topology and uniform topology is finite than the product topology okay and this obviously this require a proof so um uh, so what does that mean what do we need to prove we need to prove that uh, so if to prove product topology so let us first concentrate on this first part product topology is coarser than uniform topology or uh, on the other hand you can say that the uniform topology is finer than product topology so what does that mean that means whenever we have a 
point inside rw with respect to product topology if you choose a um, open neighborhood or basic open set whatever uh, element from basis containing that point you will have a basis an element of uniform topology that is contained inside that that open neighborhood or product topology and that that tells you that the uh, uniform topology is finer than the product topology right this is the way to prove you recall that okay so just recall how to prove something is finer than something so if you want to prove that tau 2 is finer than tau 1 okay then what you need to prove you need to prove that um, given a point uh, on some space x okay and uh, then given a point x and a basic uh, basic neighborhood uh, so so uh, basic neighborhood say b1 which contains b1 inside tau 1 okay and then there exists some b2 uh, inside uh, this tau 2 okay such that uh, x belongs to b2 and b2 subset of b1 right this is we need to prove to prove that tau 2 is finer than tau 1 okay now the similar idea we will use it here uh, to prove the first part okay so let us prove the first part proof that uniform topology is so uniform uniform topology logy on r lambda is finer then then product topology so let us prove this first okay on the same space of this lambda so what i need to find so so, so we start with a point inside r lambda and the basis element of the product topology right so so let uh, I choose uh, x maybe of this form x alpha alpha belongs to lambda belongs to r lambda and uh, you choose, choose the basis element and uh, um, and uh, u alpha obviously alpha belongs to lambda is a basis element in product topology topology containing x okay so, so I, I choose uh, a point, arbitrary point, an arbitrary basis element that contains the point x. So, and then I need to show that uh, inside this uh, uh, arbitrary basis element, you have a basis element of uh, uniform topology. And then you have that, right? That contains the same point. Now, what does that mean? A product topology containing x. What does that mean? So, sorry, a basis element of topology containing x means what? That means so this, this is kind of a um, what is that this kind of uh, coordinates right so so there are so only final even coordinates you have a proper subset otherwise that everything is whole R right so thus uh, thus uh, there exists some indexes maybe alpha one alpha two alpha n such that uh, this u alpha uh, this i's not equal to r okay uh, and uh, for rest alphas this is alpha, alphas u alpha equal to r right this is the meaning of a basis element inside product topology right so you, you know exactly uh, there are only finally places which differ from r okay now those places we so so what does that mean x belongs to this means what so that means uh, um, that means these corresponding uh, x alpha i's are element of u alpha i's okay for i equal to 1 to an n obviously rest are element of u alpha because that is the full space right r but 
but this uh, where it differ from r your x alpha i's which are this ith component or ith um, coordinates of the x of the element x are also inside ui right so so and ui are actually open set inside r right now because uis are open set inside r which are not full r so it will be it's a basic open set you can think these are actually um, uh, they are actually open intervals right because product topology is generated by those are nothing but the open interval right open interval generated by product topologies so what does that mean that means you can have a open i mean you have open intervals uh, containing these points x alpha i inside this so there exists uh, this alpha i uh, such that uh, such that what happened such that your x alpha i's are actually element of um, this uh, x alpha i's minus epsilon i plus x alpha i's plus epsilon I'm sorry comma plus epsilon right and these open intervals are actually sitting inside u alpha i's right because these are these are actually uh, generating those things right now uh, uh, obviously uh, this um, okay so one, one, one more thing I, I need to tell you so so you can obviously here you can either choose uh, the uh, matrix uh, D or you can choose the matrix inside product topology uh, okay yeah so inside R the matrix D and D bar generate the same topology. The D bar means uh, the standard boundary matrix on R. They generate the same topology, right? So you, you don't have a problem. You can either write down in, in terms of uh, this matrix and matrix doesn't matter, okay? So what does that mean? That means uh, this is happening and then obviously you can choose the minimum of alpha. So if I choose alpha is uh, this minimum of alpha ones, minimum of this alpha, sorry, sorry epsilon minimum epsilon i epsilon 1 epsilon 2 and epsilon n then what happen then you have kind of a small kind of a um, uh, cube factor right so you can have kind of n dimensional small cube which is actually sitting inside uh, which is actually called epsilon ball right center at x so so these cubes okay so so then let me write down this this cube is what so this this, this so, so so originally this is uh, these epsilon are all different, right? Now I choose this minimum epsilon i, so this becomes kind of a small cube which will be an epsilon ball inside um, that uh, uniform topology. Because uniform topology is general, is nothing but um, uh, epsilon balls are nothing but coming from D bar, the standard um, uh, what is um, standard boundaries topology, right? So from here, what I can say, I can say that. Uh, this epsilon ball center at so okay uh, so 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 you choose uh, epsilon ball okay so uh, then and uh, this epsilon epsilon is the minimum among all the epsilon i epsilon ball uh, center okay center at that point x what is that? So this is uh, kind of a n-dimensional small cube. We can think uh, uh, for this many this many n's, and for other thing you can obviously choose only epsilon. Doesn't matter. Okay. So th this is um, at x in 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 terms of this uniform topology row bar row um, uh, bar uh, matrix is uh, sitting or contained in contained in uh, that product of u alpha right because for each alpha you have only finally places where u alphas are not exactly equal to r and for those places you know because of this x alpha i's are element of u alpha i's you can choose small open interval sitting inside that and you choose among those small interval the smallest length alpha and so this kind of small cube you can pick up inside uh, R bar, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, row bar in, in the row bar, right? So what does that mean? That means uh, this. So this is actually meaning that uh, this epsilon ball center at this is actually sitting inside uh, the or is given epsilon ball. Uh, sorry, given open neighborhood uh, containing the point x. 
right? Because um, as why this is this this is as so you choose any 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 point say uh, as a point y uh, in y belongs to this uh, such that y uh, y is in the in this epsilon ball epsilon ball uh, let's say let me write down this name b rho bar x y okay so then what happened then obviously you know that then the distance between uh, x y this is less than epsilon right but what is rho bar x y rho bar x y is nothing but the supremum of all the x y right so this means that d bar x alpha comma y alpha is all bounded by epsilon for all alpha belongs to lambda right because supremum is bounded by epsilon so that means that all those things are bounded by these and because if d bar epsilon alpha all are bounded by these so that means uh, this uh, y alpha uh, this y alphas are element of u uh, u alphas right for all alpha belongs to lambda right and so which implies that y is inside uh, this product of u alpha alpha belongs to lambda and th this shows that uh, for every element of the epsilon by x center x is also element of this product of u alphas and hence uh, this basis element contains the basis elements in for uh, uh, uniform topology so what does that mean that means uh, uh, uniform topology is finite so this is the proof so this this complete the proof so this completes the proof okay so uniform topology is finite than the product topology okay now um similarly we need to prove that uh, the other one that uh, uh, what is that mm, yeah. The box topology is also finer than the uniform topology and this proof is also uh, not so difficult is easy so uh, maybe okay so let me let me start the under proof theorem uh, box topology on r lambda is finer than uniform topology so what do we need to prove we need to prove that uh, we need to prove that if you choose a arbitrary point containing open balls okay i mean maybe i will open balls uh, containing the point x you will have uh, one epsilon ball with respect to that uh, uh, box topology okay so so uh, so you start with the arbitrary open balls epsilon ball with respect to uniform topology with this uh, uh, around the point uh, say x and you show find out that one another open ball for box topology containing the point x and inside that given the given open balls okay then you are done so so proof so let so you write down that uh, uh, say b rho um, maybe what i should what should i write uh, x uh, so then, okay i think there, there i should i should write something yeah Okay, so this is not uh, this is not y is epsilon b rho x epsilon. Okay, this open ball center of x radius alpha. Okay, so here also I wrote this. So this is uh, b and epsilon ball uh, center at X uh, with respect to this uniform topology, rho bar. Okay, mm. 
uh, okay so if this is this is the things and obviously what is my x my x is something uh, x alpha parallel to lambda so what i will do so uh, i will define one open set for each alpha so let me define that uh, open open sets of the form x alpha uh, minus half epsilon or x alpha plus epsilon by 2 like half of those things and alpha minus lambda okay now you see that these are open sets uh, and these are all proper open sets and uh, uh, for each alpha x alpha belongs to this inside that thing and hence uh, x is element of u right and not only that, you see that this u is also inside u that given b over x epsilon. Why? Because whenever you choose a element inside a row, like if um, say y belongs to u, then what happened? Then y alphas are uh, element of this x alpha minus epsilon by 2 plus sorry, x alpha plus epsilon by 2 right now what does that mean that means this distance from x alpha minus y alpha and this is bounded by mm, epsilon by 2 right and hence oh, d bar also so because d bar is a minimum among these and one okay uh, so uh, so what does that mean okay so this means um, okay so what does that mean so this means that uh, if all those elements are these then supremum of this is this and that implies that rho bar of x y is also bounded by uh, epsilon by 2 and uh, hence uh, uh, so this implies uh, y belongs to um, b rho bar oh nice so let me write the next page so this implies this implies uh, y belongs to b uh, rho bar x epsilon okay and hence u is the uh, u sitting inside b over x epsilon and done so so this implies that so this completes the proof so thus uh, so this complete the proof complete the proof okay so so what does that mean that means the uniform topology is smaller or coarser than uh, this um, uh, box topology box topology is finer than that okay and obviously the uh, if this lambda is finite then all those topologies are same actually they, they are same in finite cases okay clear so now uh, uh, now the question is that whatever topology we have learned so far whether these topologies uh, are coming from some metric or not or uh, for 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 uh, finite dimensional uh, space are in we, we, we just show that these are all metrizable right because uh, there is only one topology which is product topology on rn and uh, so uh, not only one whatever matrix we learn they are all generating the uh, product topology only on rn okay but here uh, we have learned in r omega or r lambda whatever you these all the topologies are different so the box topologies is finer than the um, uniform topology and which is finer than the product topology right and the question is that uh, whether any of those are matrizable or not like coming from metric or not and let us try to un answer that first first try to understand that what about the product topology okay okay um hmm. Okay, so uh, so if you uh, for first of all uh, we need to guess uh, what is our uh, uh, which is the matrix which generate the product topology on uh, say R omega. Okay, 
So to show that this uh, um, um, this product topology is matrizable, so we need to actually define a proper matrix and show that the topology handled by the matrix is same as the product topology. Now how to do this? So um, let us start. So let me define a, a map. So okay. So uh, obviously we know this uh, standard bounded matrix, uh, which is of this form. Uh, x i y i is actually minimum of that uh, standard matrix which is mod right uh, let me write down this by this notation and one okay now with the help of this let me define a map capital d from this r uh, omega cross r omega to r and what is the map so d of x y and this is nothing but the supremum of um, so so the, so last time i defined remember the supremum of d bar x alpha right so here i am defining supremum of d bar of uh, x i y i by i okay and uh, this i is inside this natural number so because r omega is r natural n is same right so so i am i am telling that this is actually obviously this is a, we can prove that this is a matrix first we will prove that and this matrix will induce the product topology on r omega okay or r, r n whatever okay now um, to show uh, D is a metric on this R omega. What I need, I need to show that uh, obviously fast two properties are simple, right? Uh, that uh, it is always non-negative and zero. That this is trivial. So the only interesting part is the triangle So, uh, so to, to show the triangle what what you need, I need uh, this property. So you see that for each components. Uh, x i y and z i and this x i the distance between x i y and z i is actually less than equal distance from x i y i and from d bar uh, this is already we have learned because d bar is a um, bounded matrix right um, y i z i this is already proved our last class and hence you can divide by i also i also here right okay now you see that what is what is uh, the right hand side right hand side this portion is nothing but d of uh, because see each of these are uh, this is true for all i this is for all i for all for for all i belongs to this natural number so so this more of these uh, these elements are bounded by uh, the supremum so you can write down supremum of that is nothing but d of x y uh, here supremum is d of y z right and because this is for all i so if uh, these numbers bounded by all i so the supremum of this left hand side also bounded by that and supremum of left hand side is nothing but d of x z okay uh, okay so, uh, so x z so what does that mean that means that matrix d, uh, the d is also satisfy the triangle inequality so indeed d is a matrix right so d is a, a metric on uh, this r omega right now i will show that uh, the, the topology generated by this d is actually the product topology so how do you show that so uh, so so le, le, let me let me assume that um, uh, so let uh, tau be the topology Topology generated by D or induced by D. I should not say generated, it's induced. Uh, induce, in, induced by D. Okay. And we show that this tau is actually nothing but the product topology on R omega. Okay. Uh, now, uh, thing is that. Um, uh, to show two topologies are same, what I need to show, I need to show that given a basic set, whatever what open set, that is this open set here containing the same point and vice versa, right? So let me start. So uh, so let um, uh, 
so x belongs to r omega and uh, um, this u b an open set open set in tau such that x belongs to u okay now i need to find out a open set in product topology that contains the point x and inside u right um then i am done so so um because u belongs to open set so u contains uh, obviously open balls inside with respect to the matrix d so let write down that so let uh, So let uh, that open balls uh, write down the by name B uh, D X epsilon B the open ball open epsilon ball uh, such that such that what happen X belongs to that d d x epsilon and this is inside u okay clear uh, so now i will define one open uh, element of basis element of product topology which also contains that x and also inside uh, this open ball and hence it will be inside u right now uh, now consider consider uh, this uh, my open set let me define by this uh, say x1 minus epsilon to x1 plus epsilon okay and um, mm, dot 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 x capital n minus epsilon and x capital n plus epsilon plus rest are all full r because this is the meaning of uh, open source in product topology where so this is how i am choosing the n where capital n is a natural number natural number such that what happened one by n you can make it less than epsilon less than epsilon and that is possible using arquelian principle you can choose a natural number such that one by n always less than epsilon so given epsilon you can make it one bend smaller than epsilon right you choose that in uh, where uh, the least positive integers for which one by n less than this okay and now uh, once you have this thing then we know that what happened then uh, then i am i am claiming that um, this v obviously v contains x right so your x is what so x equal to x x size i belongs to natural number x1 x2 x3 and the way i define it so it is clear that x belongs to v so this is clear that x belongs to v right now how do you know that v is inside uh, so i am claiming v now my claim so claim is that this v is actually sitting inside b d x epsilon and hence it is inside u right then i am done now to prove that b is sitting inside this what into group so we need to prove that for any element so let y belongs to um, uh, v then i have to show that uh, y is also inside this so if y belongs to v then what happen uh, then uh, this implies that d of uh, so y is of this form y i i don't say the number and y belongs to v means what so each y i is are elements of that right so so d of x i y i is are and less than epsilon okay and d of x i y i less than epsilon means um, that means that um, okay so yeah one minute, so yeah so that means d bar of uh, this x i is y is are, are all actually less than epsilon for for i equal to yeah uh, this, this is this is for i equal to 1 to n because after n i i i don't know anything so this is for i equal to 1 to n okay uh, so what does that mean that means uh, and uh, rest rest are what rest of the rest of element 
uh, rest elements are bounded by 1 by n because uh, okay so this is still 1 by n and you see uh, d bar of x i y i by uh, you, you can choose uh, by i so this is the way i am defining right so when i greater than capital n then this by this is less than 1 by n right okay so whenever so this is for all i bigger than n right and hence till till capital n you choose uh, which is less than epsilon and other than that it is less than uh, this is bounded by 1 by n right so what does that mean that is supremum is what so thus uh, thus uh, this d uh, x y is uh, supremum of this d bar x i y i by i and this supremum is nothing but epsilon right and uh, what does that mean that means uh, the distance from y to x is uh, less than epsilon right so this is less than epsilon okay not equal to epsilon less than and this implies this y is element of d d x epsilon and hence um, that uh, every element of v is inside d d x epsilon and this is inside u done so one part is done so what does that mean so this shows that uh, uh, product topology is finer than that topology tau right now we will prove the con uh, opposite part that this topology is finer than product topology hence both both are same right now so so this implies that uh, product topology is uh, finer than uh, this set topology tau then tau which is induced by which is induced by d the metric d right now conversely so conversely what we need to prove we need to prove that converse part is also possible so conversely um, uh, i will choose a open neighbor root uh, of x so uh, conversely you have x belongs to this and um, so u which is the product of u i is i equal to say 1 to infinity or whatever uh, you can just choose in long, i belongs to a certain number okay is a neighborhood of of x okay so what does that mean that means uh, my maximum final limit terms will be a, a proper subset right so let um, this alpha so write down the name so maybe alpha one alpha uh, n uh, be the indices indices such that this u alpha i is not equal to r right other than that everything is equal to full r right because this is a basis element of product topology okay and um, then you, what do you know then you know that uh, this uh, this u alpha is a open set in r containing xi right so and um, your xi's are um, sitting inside ui's thus thus uh, there is this uh, alpha i a positive such that So is there what happens so is that this xi minus alpha i uh, xi plus alpha i these are properly sitting inside the open inter open set ui right clear and uh, that for containing r right so so now you choose um, new epsilon which is minimum among these epsilon i's by i okay and this i equal to 1 to n those many i so you choose epsilon i which is minimum of this thing now if you choose this thing i will show that uh, the open ball with respect to this epsilon in the uh, topology tau is it inside the open set of product topology u right now claim so now our, our claim is that claim uh, this open ball with respect to this epsilon ball uh, around x is actually 
sitting inside uh, this open view okay and obviously x contains in this point x right and that is obvious because anyway if uh, uh, if uh, y belongs to this open wall okay so that means what that means distance from x and y which is uh, less than epsilon by right? But what is the distance from x and y? Distance means supremum of all those things, right? So that means d bar um, this uh, x i y i by i is uh, less than epsilon for all i, right? for all i belongs to the natural number, and hence uh, d bar x i y i is bounded by i times epsilon i which is nothing but uh, epsilon i right okay which is less than i, I should say less than because uh, epsilon, epsilon is the minimum of epsilon i right epsilon i by i oh, yeah minimum of epsilon i by i right so epsilon i is r we get greater than equal to so this implies epsilon i r greater than equal to epsilon time i okay for all i okay okay so so the, the d bar uh, of these are this uh, and uh, uh, this is this for all this is for all i right and what does that mean that means uh, uh, this mod of this this means this mod of xi minus yi bounded by epsilon i right and hence uh, for all this this is for all i and hence this y is actually uh, element of this uh, product of ui's which is nothing but u right and hence uh, so any arbitrary element of these balls are sitting inside u and hence uh, this b d x epsilon is inside u and thus this topology tau which is generated or induced by u is finer than is finer then the product topology product topology uh, on r omega so what does that mean we just show that both are finer than one to another so that means that these two topologies are equivalent and thus finally what thus the product topology product topology on r omega is matrizable matrizable so that means this is coming from a metric okay okay so this is the proof and by this we will going to end this uh, uh, today's lectures and maybe our next lectures we will define um, more about continuity and other things uh, and some criteria which you will tell that under what condition certain space is matrizable or not okay for example uh, the other other topologies the box topology is matrizable or not i don't know but i need some conditions that will tell you that whether it is matrizable or not okay in our next lecture we will prove that thing okay today i am going to stop my lecture